we, we're making these videos to try and give um, some sort of relevance to what you see in the scrapbooks that we've gathered over the years. Um, this is a station with quite a long history, even though it only started in 1979. It's done so much and achieved so much that it's worth noting where we came from and what we've managed to build and achieve here. The station was contemplated back in 1977-78 when head office realised that the distance between Rescue 3 in the harbour and Rescue 10 in Simonstown was a good two hours or three hours either way based on the equipment we had then. And the massive hole that was, that was here in the Hout Bay area with a very large fishing fleet in the Hout Bay harbour had to be addressed in terms of risk um, as well as the shipping that was passing um, north and south of the Hout Bay Bay itself. And it was decided then to consider forming a um, large station here in Hout Bay, eventually to become a class one all-weather rescue boat station. What we started with, 1977-78, uh, was a second-hand sailfish which came from the station in East London, Station 7, and we took that sailfish and converted it into a much larger ski boat which gave us a starting capability. Remember that the flanking stations then were Station 3 in Table Bay, Station 2 in Backhoven, and the next nearest station was that of Simonstown, which had then a 9 metre um, Robcroft. So in those days, uh, with the money that we had, um, the station had a very humble beginning. The, the first station building was in fact a container in which we housed the 7 metre um, or 6 metre sailfish, um, which eventually turned into a steel frame a cladding um, boathouse, uh, which was at the top of the ramp um, that you now currently see at the bottom of the harbour, um, eventually to be replaced in 1979 with the first brick and mortar building that NSRI ever built. This was built to house, strangely enough, a very large Mersey class RNLI rescue boat, which of course we never bought, but because we saw the future in this being a large class one station, we had to build the station big enough to manage it. So the first boat that fitted inside Rescue 8 base was in fact an 8 meter. Um, it didn't last terribly long because unfortunately it burned to the ground one afternoon when two people were working on it. The base had literally just been built. The boat had just been pulled into it. There was some final work to be done before opening day and the fire then made, uh, first of all, destroy the boat completely and did some substantial damage to the base. So the grand opening day had to be delayed um, and after all the cleanups were done, some of which you'll see in the pictures that will follow this video, you will see that um, the base literally had to be almost refurbished before it had started. What happened after that was uh, we managed to bring down a very large class one Bill Edwards boat from Walfus Bay. South Africa having just given up um, what was now Namibia um, and the NSRI rescue boat station that was in Walfus Bay, um, the boat was brought back to South Africa, a large wooden Bill Edwards as I mentioned, um, a good 12 meters with two inboard diesels and quite amazing capability, was brought to station 8 uh, where it was drained because it had spent most of its life in the water uh, where it was drained um, and in the process incidentally losing five tons of water. The boat was completely refurbished and then housed in a brand new uh, cradle that was specially developed for her and she lived in the station until 2005 at which time she was retired and we started looking at newer more modern technology.